Midjourney AI is a tool that generates a brand new image by simply typing in some keywords or phrases. It is absolutely astonishing what the AI can do, but unfortunately it are just images that comes out of this tool. So in this video, we're going to show you how to transform those images into movies or moving art. Now getting access to the Midjourney AI is through an invite and we happen to have five invites laying around. So definitely stick around till the end of the video to see how you could obtain one of those invites. And now let's create some moving art. Art. These past weeks you've probably seen a ton of AI artwork all over the internet and one way you could create this is with Midjourney and that is exactly what we'll be using today. And to use Midjourney it's super easy. We can simply go to their discord and we can type in imagine and then we can just choose a prompt we want. So for example let's look for a tree on the side of a cliff. We press enter and then we just have to wait. Now what is actually happening behind this screen? Well it's super fascinating. Once you typed in what it needs to generate it's going to use what it learns from its data set and generate a new image. And this data set exists out of million pictures they find on the internet. But Midjourney is not just going to take your prompts like our tree and cliff, look for those in the images and paste them together. It's going to create a whole new image from its latent space. Now what exactly is a latent space? Well simply put a latent space, also known as a latent feature space or embedding space. <laughs> Or in human language, you can see this as a graph with more than three dimensions, where they classify all these objects and things. Like for example, how shiny an object is, what color it has, is it round or is it sharp, etc. After waiting a while, you're going to get your image back. And as you can see here, you have a tree on a cliff, or kind of. From here, you can simply choose to completely redo this image, or you can choose one of these images and make an iteration of them. So for example, let's iterate on the first image. And again, you'll get four images based on that first image. Now from here, you can just continue and start altering some things if you want more water if you want more clouds whatever you want basically keep writing keywords and try to explain as good as possible what you want the image to be then once you're happy you can simply just download it now why exactly would we use ai art well the first thing is of course that we can use it to make art you can simply just create these images or you can take it a step further and make them move next to this i also think it's a great tool to get inspiration or just for concept art oh hey jordi from the future here we forgot to mention which three images that we finally generated well we started off with this one here which is the upside down world which kind of resembles the scene where Eddie is rocking on a trailer from Stranger Things 4. We have this beautiful tree inside of the ocean in which I'm going to swing on and finally a horror house with some super cool lighting. So uh, let's create moving art with those now. Now before we continue with showing you how to bring these images to life I need to tell you about MSI our sponsor for today's video. They were kind enough to send us their P100X together with the Summit MS321 up and let's be honest it looks beautiful. The P100X is designed to be more compact and stylish than the traditional desktops and it really shows. The components inside are separated so even though it's tiny the heat dissipates great. And it having Wi-Fi 6C allows us to sit in the middle of the studio without having to connect really long cables. The Summit MS321 Up automatically detects ambient light and is able to adjust the brightness of the screen so no more white blinding lights at night. Now SpongeBob meme. Bye. It has a USB Type-C to charge every device you would ever want to charge. And to top it off, the MSI Anti-Flicker and Less Blue Light -like Technologies protects your eyes when you're spending hours and hours trying to refine that AI art. <laughs> this right here is our big ass green screen. We're gonna set it up right now. No other gaps today, I'm sorry. We're building the world's largest swing. Additionally, you can also put yourself in one of these moving arts pieces. For example, the upside down world that we created from Stranger Things where Eddie is rocking on top of the trailer. Basically, what we're just doing is setting up a green screen as you can see right here. The important is that, is that you look at the lighting in your image and try to match that. So we have a red light over here and then just some ambient uh, daylight over there. And that's making sure that my lighting kind of matches with the scene. Uh, I just stand in this box, we record the stuff and we bring that back into After Effects 
aspects to do keying and to the compositing. Now, one important thing about setting up green screens is that you always work in two zones. One zone is the lighting for the green screen itself, and the second zone is the lighting for your talent. And you want to make sure the lighting that goes onto your green screen does not interfere with your subject. That is why we have these flags right here. If we don't have them, these are just simply blocking out the light. And I'm standing here, I'm also getting lit by the softbox that is actually only supposed to light out the green screen itself. Flags are your best friend, guys. It's time to create some moving art inside After Effects and we can do this super smoothly because our MSI Creator P100X has a 12th generation Intel Core i7 processor and even with being so compact, it holds real power. The power of an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series. To get full control over this power, we have the MSI Creator Sensor software. This will help us accelerate the daily use softwares like Adobe After Effects. Now, one thing I personally find that every VFX artist must have is a good screen. The MSI Summit MS321 UP has a 32-inch IPS panel in a 4K UHD resolution, giving me the best quality to work on this AI art. Plus, it covers 95% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, which makes it perfect for color grading tasks. And it comes with a magnetic hood, so if the sun is bothering you guys, well, you can block it out. How nice is that? So if you want to know more about this cool setup or even buy it, go to the first link in the description down below. I promised you guys that I would give away my five invites that I have. And what you have to do to win one of those is simply type a comment below this video. And I want you to type a phrase of an image that you would like to generate. You know, for example, a horse floating in space playing golf. It can be something really absurd. I'm going to pick out the five most creative phrases or ideas to generate an image and then contact you to send you one of the invites that we have. Let's go into After Effects. For the first moving art piece of this dramatic ocean scene, we want to determine what needs to move. Most obvious is the sea, but maybe we also want the trees to move, add some birds and of course add a swinging jordy. <laughs> Not that swinging Jordy. Okay, let's start with the sea and the first thing we added are waves crashing into our tree and island rock. These are created with stock clips of our beloved story blocks. We just took some footage of sea cliffs and masked the waves out, placed them on our wanted spot, used the curves, tint and fastbox blur effect and eventually blended them with the screen blending mode. Voila, we have some impact waves. Now just pre-compose those clips because we want to add a distortion on them. And for this distortion, we are going to use an actual clip of a moving C. So we placed that over our original clip, aligned both horizons and masked out the moving C. You can leave holes where the tree and the island are as they don't need any distortion. Now make the C black and white and use the curves effect to add contrast. Then again pre-compose, but this time only the moving C clip. Next look for the displacement map effect and add that to your original AI clip. And for the displacement map layer we will be using the C clip. Set the horizontal and the vertical displacement to lightness and lower the values a little bit. Disable the C clip and look at that, our AIC is moving. To make it even better, we also use an adjustment layer with an animated turbulent displacement effect on it, making it extra wavy. Next up, we added some seagulls, which is just a stock clip. For the moving trees, we also used a stock clip of a windy tree. We masked out a part of the leaves and positioned them where we want. Then we used the curves and lumetri effect to brighten the shot, but also add some contrast. To follow up, we used the darken blending mode to bring it all together. Of course, color match every stock clip you bring into your scene, creating one cool image. Very last step is to add Jordi, which is actually a simple green key. We positioned and color matched them and donezo. The next shot we'll be bringing to life is the scary horror house. For this we took a shot of Jordy standing with an umbrella and suitcase. This shot we can easily key out, scale down and place in our scene. Now to bring more life into this we added a few different overlays to keep it simple. To start with we added some thunder overlays in the clouds so they would light up at random. Then some overall rain overlay to really make it moody. And to make the rain even more believable we added some raindrop overlays so that you can see the rain interacting with its environment. We also animated the light on the outside of the building and to finalize a nice subtle handheld. Shake. And as you can see, with some simple overlay assets, you can really elevate a cell picture and bring it to life.
For our last moving art, the cool tribute to Eddie Munson from Stranger Things. The steps of bringing our scene to life are actually the same as before. But what's different here is the fact that Mid Journey generated our AI upside down a little bit wrong. Like you can see, the trailer home and the sky are perfect, but the ground is pitch black. So in Mid Journey, we decided to generate a floor with vines separately. We more or less used the same keywords as our first upside down, but we really focused on the slimy vines. Then when we had a result we liked, we simply combined them inside Photoshop. Some simple masking and our upside down looks a whole whole lot better. We could then bring our new shot into After Effects and start adding the moving parts. Again, we have a light that flickers, some smoke, maybe some distortions, bat flying in the distance, lightning in the sky, and of course, to finish it off, we added Jordy Munson in our scene, being as metal as he can be. And that is how you can rock as well, just like Eddie in the Upside Down world. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did. And MSI, thank you so much for support and the awesome computer and the awesome monitor. And now, stay creative! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you.